Hello and welcome to stage four of aggressive ambition racing for the Koenigsegg Gera RS. I've got all level one upgrades. Do not start this event without two and a half million R dollars and 500 gold to spend. You might want more than that, but uh, depending on your skill ability, that's going to be kind of the bare minimum for most people. I'm going to do it with less. Okay, so I made a mistake in this first race, and that is I forgot about all the outlaps they've got. So... It really is good to pay attention to all the information in the race before you go crazy and do a race again and again for 15 or 20 minutes until you realize you're making it way harder than you had to. I thought that I only had one lap after this to get all my slipstreaming in. So I'm go I was going nuts trying to get all by everyone super fast and then I realized, oh, this is way easier than I thought. So this is not a hard race but I was making it really hard on myself. This Lamborghini is, uh, I think it's, what is it now? I didn't really look this up. Centenario, Centenario. It starts with cent anyways. And uh, must have something to do with 100 if it starts with cent. Ah, uh, because it's not cheap. <laughs> okay, so I've already got almost half my slipstreaming in. Um, I'm not gonna say it. I'm gonna let the my longtime viewers say exactly what is the unit of measure being used. And again, it's a complete mystery. They have no idea how it happened. You're getting 2.25 meters for every meter you drive. So it works out to 44.444 centimeters or 17.48 inches. I think I have that correct. Ah, someone can run the conversion if they want. I'm going off of my memory. And yeah, so here I, I was sweating it and quitting and retrying. And, and I'm like, oh, no, I, I've got a whole straightaway to go yet. And we've got way more top speed than that Porsche. That Porsche has got fast acceleration, not very good grip, and not the not the same top end that we've got. So now look at this. My slipstreaming's broken. I had to pretty well hit him to get my slipstreaming to work. That is weird. Never seen that before. I don't know what that glitch was about, but look, now it's working just fine. I'm way back here. If you go back and watch that, I was almost touching him and it wasn't working. I basically had to ram him to get it to kick in. Weird. So I have no idea what's going on with the counter. But, I mean, it worked. So if it's not working for you, give the guy a little tap. <laughs> well, that's funny. Old school Bugatti there. Nice little car. So, obviously, not near as difficult as I thought once I actually paid attention to the race. Read first. Pay attention, ME7. Okay. Classic mistake I've made. Anyhow. Okay, so that's going to wrap up the first race. Uh, again, I've got level one upgrades. There's the earnings. On to the next one. So it's interesting. I like these multiple requirement races. So we've got a 10 overtakes to make, and we've got a speed target that we've got to hit five times. I don't think it's a very hard speed target to hit. Woo! I really, boy, I hit him pretty good, didn't I? Obviously didn't hit speed yet. Venino, interesting. Venino, oh, that car has got a sore spot for me. My problem with the Venino is it's the second most expensive car to fully upgrade, and it is nowhere near worth it. It just feels sluggish and heavy. I love the car, it looks amazing, but I just was so mad when I fully upgraded it. I'm like, what? This car feels horrible. So it feels horrible for the amount of currency you spend. That's what I mean by that. There's cars that are substantially cheaper to fully upgrade and are way more enjoyable to drive. So never upgrade the Venino without a massive sale. Honestly, that's that's my opinion. Just don't do it. You're, you're gonna really regret it. Okay, so obviously I've already hit all my speed targets. That's easy. And I'm getting in my overtakes. Eventually you gotta play with someone a little bit, go back and forth a few times. Uh, this is another Lamborghini that is not, he does not have very good grip. So very easy, very good car, really good looking car, don't get me wrong. It's just not much of a car really. So come on, let's go, where are you? I mean, I know I've got a ridiculous amount of speed in this car, my Gera RS is gonna really outpace that car. And yeah, not very difficult. I mean, cars are eliminating. You gotta get all this done though before that timer runs out. Because, uh, so I've only got timer. What am I talking about? It's not, an, an, it's not an elimination event. Oh my goodness. Oh, Jaguar. Hello, how are you today? First time I noticed him. I mean, he might've been in, in there in other races. I didn't notice him. Very nice. Nice to meet you, Mr. Jaguar. 
Okay, so I don't know why I thought this was another elimination race, but it's not. It's a cup race. And wow, they must have got tangled up. Well, I'll let them catch up a little bit. Um, come on, guys. Where are you? There you go. Ooh, there we go. He's, he's coming on me pretty fast there. He's catching up quickly. Okay, average speed. Okay, with a five-mile straight. Really? Well, let's get to it then, if we got a five-mile straight. Now, the Bugatti's going to stack up the Porsche. Nothing to worry about there. Here's the elimination event. Gosh, I knew there was an elimination event with an average speed race. Okay, this one, this starts to get tricky. These guys are fast. So I'm going to cut under here. I um, mean, there's the Bugatti. So there's what starts to make it tricky. The Benino's pretty fast, but we've got a Chiron. Or is it a Chiron Sport? I forget. It doesn't matter, though. Either way, Chiron's and Chiron Sports, they're fast. They are fast cars. This is when it, it's like it's a Veyron, but it can corner and it can break. So you got to watch yourself around that Chiron. He can really mess you up quick if you're not careful. He's really fast, and if you're not paying attention, you're going to get slammed into by him. So average speed, come on, let's go, let's go. There we go, here's the long straight. Beautiful Dubai sky. Well, it's the same sky, I guess, but it looks really nice with the Dubai buildings in the background. Okay, so there's my average speed. Good, good, let's go. Berg is eliminated. Some of these elimination events with average speed get so tricky because you're desperately trying to keep your speed up. But if you, uh, like, for if I get... If my time's running out at this section of the track, you can end up in trouble. Am I going to lose it? Yep, look at that. But there's still four cars to go. Zasada. I do not know how to pronounce that name. I've never seen that name in, in regular life. If that's someone's name, let me know if you've got that name. I don't know. Huh. I haven't seen that name before. Uh, so I apologize if I horribly mispronounced your name. Please forgive me. Uh, so, yeah. Okay. Can't read that. Sing. That one, uh, Sing, I know that name. Okay, average speed is a little bit better. Oh, look at this. I'm going to be encountering... Oh, good. Speed, I, I'll have a speed run before I have to slow down very much. But look at that. I'm encountering the back section. So that's... Oh, that's white. This is right where I lost last time. Woo! Come on, come on. Oh, I got 15 more seconds left. Duh! Sorry, guys. I'm getting too wrapped up in things here. Okay, so that means no trouble at all. Because you're getting... Oh, but look how low my speed is. Honestly, that, that's that's a bit troublesome. Again, don't sweat it too much. You're definitely going to need gold upgrades. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to keep going. Because I actually lost this race once by slowing down after it said the last guy was eliminated. Because this is an old school event. This one is tricky with the overheating. Now, now is where that Bugatti Chiron really gives you a big, a big amount of trouble. I don't get it. I'm starting with an overheating engine from a dead stop. I mean, they said the Dubai heat, but oh, okay. Okay, so we got to watch out here. Jaguar doing a big drift slide there. There's a nice Chiron. I decided to shove him off track a little bit just to get things slowed up. Ah! Okay, so here is where you have to have been paying attention in the past. Where did the, where did the bots want to drive? Drive there. Look at this. See, I'm trying. Keeping a little bit of speed going, but I'm driving where he wants to drive. So that should keep him behind me unless they get stacked up. That's when there can be trouble. That's where you suddenly get someone trying to overtake you. That's when you can, can get the pit maneuver done to you because you end up with cars getting too wide. Okay, it's just me and the Sharon. That should be okay to manage then. Okay, look at that. Like I said, he's fast. Ooh, look at his braking ability. I mean, I was braking a little bit early, but wow, look at that. He's right there, eight meters. So, ooh, boy. So you got to really watch where he's going to be so you don't end up getting in trouble because you could, e you could easily give yourself the pit maneuver by accident. Now here, where's where I can... You notice I'm doing a lot of coasting? If it didn't default you to tilt B controls, switch to tilt B controls. Tilt A is going to mess you up because your brakes are gas. You need to coast. So if you... In the old... In the original versions of these, they'd often tell you stuff like that. Like, oh, this this um, steering setting, this control setting is disabled. Um, use manual accelerator, blah, blah, blah. So, okay, here I've got a pretty good lead on that Sharon. But look at that. My engine temp is lower than when I started this race. Mind you, that's not unreasonable. 
Uh, in real life, I was driving a Porsche once, and it was actually in winter, and man, it was freezing. Uh, some of you will get this. We had to keep stopping and sticking cardboard in front of the radiator to try to build up heat, because it would cool off so good at speed. But it would build up heat when it was idling. It's interesting. Obviously, it's a sports car. It's, it's meant to go fast. So I was freezing, because it was pretty cold outside. Parts of Canada get very cold. In fact, it's supposed to snow where I live tonight, which is strange. It's kind of late for us. We're in the spring, but anyhow, there you go. Please like, please subscribe. Keep checking out the whole series. There you can see the upgrades. And yeah, I'll see you again real soon. Hope you're enjoying this one. Thanks for joining me today.